Hello, my name is uh, Kung Rada. I am working for a project uh, of the General Directorate of Agriculture where we have a collaboration with, uh, with uh, CIRAT. So we are here in uh, Banan district in the plot plain of uh, Vikropu. Uh, we, we are working with the farmer to uh, promote the, uh, the application of the conservation agriculture techniques uh, to improve the soil fertility and the productivity of the, the rice, uh, rice farming. We basically apply the principle of the conservation uh, agriculture uh, which is to minimize the soil disturbance uh, uh, and uh, produce the, the biomass uh, for the soil. So after the right harvest, normally in the plot plains, uh, the farmer they, they leave it as a, as a free uh, grazing area. And we, we um, work with the farmer to try uh, broadcasting the, the cover crop, the leguminous cover crop to improve the soil. But this leguminous cover crop can also use for, for the fodder source for, for, the, for the, the cattle. Because normally in the plot plain, the farmer, they always have um, this uh, system of the integration between the, the rice and cattle production. Also uh, test the, the biochar. That's why uh, this year we have a trial of the biochar. We have uh, four treatment. We have uh, different, different treatment without uh, applying any uh, any uh, biochar, and we have a warranted uh, kilo per hectare, uh, 200 kilo per hectare, and the 400 uh, kilo per hectare of the biochar. Uh, we would like to to see the the performance of the of the rice growing and uh, and finally the productivity, the yield of the rice. Whether our expectation is that. Um, the, the increasing of the yield could compensate uh, the, the, the cost and eventually uh, the farmer can get extra income uh, from the use of the biochar.